Look how dense it is in there. And the walls, that's just fantastic. Welcome to Dan's on the Street. I am Dan. I'm exploring the whole world city by city as seen through Google Maps and Google Street View. And today I'm back in Tunisia visiting the city of Sifax here in the Mediterranean Sea. Interesting place. I'm excited to explore it. Interesting name though too, isn't it? Lots to see. This could be a really good tour. Let's drop right down in. As you can see here, there's kind of an ancient, the, the old city there. We'll check a lot of that out, but let's start just outside of that maybe on one of these streets here. Okay, we are on the ground. Bright sunny day here. And as you can see, we are immediately, yeah, we are right next to that old city. These are the old city walls. That is pretty fantastic there. Really well preserved, obviously being kept up, doing work on it. Well, let's just move down the street here. See what we find. Oh, look at this. They, they, uh, they, yeah, they really are working on it, continuing to keep it up. That's great. Doing a lot of work there. Very nice. It's a pretty good sized city, around 350,000. I saw a few different numbers, but in the ballpark of 350, I think. Ton of people out. Nice buildings here on the left. Yeah, a bunch of people moving down the street. This is a major producer of olives and nuts, major fishing port, as well as they do a lot of phosphate processing, which I think I caught a little bit of that from above as we were dropping into the city. We'll check that out too. This is great. It's not like fully mapped, but pretty well mapped, it seems. Plenty to see at least. Love these short palms. Is that like a, is that its own style of palm or are they just cutting that short? I'm not quite sure how that works. It's probably its own variety, is my guess. Lots of taxis parked here. Interesting, I guess maybe a lot of tourists come here. That seems possible. Love the look of these white buildings here. Everything very bright white. You need to wear a pair of sunglasses just to watch this video. So bright out here. Very nice though. It's a much drier climate down here than uh, Tunis where I was recently exploring virtually. Definitely more arid, deserty climate. Mosque here on the left, looks newer. I think this is a market here on the right, some sort of fish market, fruit market, that kind of thing. Maybe we can drop in there. Nice big roundabout here. Fountain in the middle, people just hanging out, enjoying the cooler evening, I'm guessing. Ah, I'm recording this in the middle of all this coronavirus stuff. How's everyone doing? I'm getting by, I guess. Interesting old building there. I, uh, you know, getting by. Can't complain, I guess. I really shouldn't complain. Sifax 2000, that's a pretty cool sign. I do hope I'm saying it right. I, I try to look up how these cities are pronounced sometimes, or I usually do. And again, I got this kind of mixed answers but it seemed like people were saying Sifax, something, something like that. Hmm. Very bustling, lots of people out and about. These trees look like they're normally trimmed maybe, you know, but they've kind of, they're, they're ripe for a trim. They need a, need a trimming. Kind of look cool like that though too. It's, I assume that's Arabic up there. Interesting. The city was founded in 849 AD, right around there. And I read that it was built on an ancient Roman town. There was like an ancient Roman town here that I, I don't know if it failed or was conquered or defunct in some, some way. It was called Taparura, something like that, Taparura. 
And I think there's still remnants of it that can be found. Can we take a right turn here? Maybe not. We'll just keep cruising up the street, why not? Still a good amount of life, you know, despite being a desert environment here. Mm, plenty of vegetation. Extra embellage. Embellage. Not quite sure what that is. Really, the look here is just this white stucco. That seems to be pretty much everywhere. Up here, a little, little off-white. Like that, uh... I don't know what that pattern's called. Sort of star shape. Eight-sided. I'm sure it has a name. It's, it's essentially a star shape, I guess. Again, it's not fully mapped. I can't, like, go down each of these streets. But a lot of the main roads are mapped. Here's another roundabout. I like the way that the city's laid out. Let's let's pop up, see if we can get a little sense of this. There you, there you can see it there. Kind of very sprawling out there, really spreads out. Got these streets going out here, all kind of focusing on this center point. And, you know, before I get too far, obviously this is catching everyone's eye here. Like, what is this? Future Park de Taparura. There's that name again, Teperura. Um, I looked up this project. I usually glance at the city just a little bit before I record and certainly try to do a little research. But yeah, this looks like a really neat project they're planning and developing. It's going to be all skyscrapers in here and that kind of thing. It's really well planned out. It's going to be an amazing project whenever it's completed, hopefully sooner than later. Um... Pretty neat though, I like already these these two circles there. That's cool. Looks like maybe an orchard kind of growing. Interesting. Well, before we go too far, I feel like we might as well start here with the old town. Clearly you can see here, this is the original city of Safax. It's still walled in. Rarely do you get such a, I mean, I've seen plenty of walled cities, I guess, during this tour, but it's something very neat about this one super pronounced look how dense it is in there and the walls that's just fantastic and that those walls were built basically around that same time period that around 849 in right around that time and at the same time they built this mosque here neat old place not sure if we can really get in uh, for whatever reason, these, this old city has not been well mapped at all. And, hey, well there you can get a little sense of the minaret there. Impressive old thing, very, very nice. I think that dates back to just about that era, at least the, somewhere in the 9th century, 10th century at the latest. There must be an, an adjacent property here. You can actually move in here. Hey, this is neat. Not sure what building we're inside. Maybe a maybe a restaurant we're inside here. It's pretty cool. Huh. And then out on this balcony, okay. Alright, let's pop up. Yeah, shame we can't get a better view of that, but as you can see, there it is. The Great Mosque of Sfax. Love to walk around that, at least at the outside, get a sense of that place. That's really neat. Super dense in here, all these shops. Oh, would love to just spend a good amount of time in there. Looks like we can actually go down some portion of street here. Let's check this out. Oh, this is wonderful. There we go again. <laughs> Sorry. Um, nice. Okay. This is even better than I hoped. Lovely shopping through here. Clothing for sale. Great clothing market here. Tons of people out and about. Get some food, buy all kinds of clothing, maybe some fruits and nuts. Oh, you know, that's that's great though. Look at this carving into this building here, that old stonework. My, my, my. I love those patterns. There you can see that that same star motif. I'll have to look up what that what that's kind of called. That's great. 
jewelry places. Oh yeah, here's the jewelry district it looks like. Plenty of necklaces, that kind of thing. Ah, sadly, that's the end of that portion of the tour. Goodness, they, it would be really awesome if they could map out the rest of this old city. You know I'd enjoy that a lot, of course. Um, yeah, we'll drop into one other random place here. Can't really move around, but again, get a sense of this, these tight old streets in here. Love to just stroll through there, get lost in the uh, this old place. That'd be wonderful. Huh, very neat. Some museums, of course, restaurants. Oh, look at this, all right. Great, up here on top of the roof of some place. Smaller mosque, it looks like there. Satellite dishes, beautiful view of the sunset. Or maybe sunrise, I'm not quite sure, I assume sunset. This is great. Some distant, taller buildings, maybe some cranes building some stuff over there. Seems like all the cool kids are out here taking pictures. <laughs> A lot of people taking pictures. Um, that's great. Thanks whoever uploaded that picture. That's love really seeing that. Oh yeah, here's these markets, okay. Yeah. Fruit market, fish market. Again, it'd be great to really get in there, but it uh, seems like that might not be possible. One more view here by the old gate. Fantastic. All right. Well, sadly, we can't see too much more of that. Let's let's drop on another street near here and kind of head up this way. How about how about it? There again are those city walls. This was an independent city-state, I was reading, by the 10th century. And then it was conquered by Sicily in 1148. Yeah, there's the, some of the port over there, okay. And it was later, it was later liberated by the local forces, just a few years later. And then in the 16th century, the Spanish briefly occupied the city. And then the city fell to the Ottomans. Where, I, I guess it remained for quite some time. Clear skies out today, goodness. Malta. Some bicycles. Pedestrians and a lot of vehicles. Ugh, how crazy is this coronavirus thing? Hopefully, somebody's watching this video like six months from now and they've already like almost forgotten about it. Uh, I'm envious of I'm envious of you. <laughs> right now, end of March. We are in the thick of it. At least I hope we're in the thick of it. This better not be the the first chapter still. Cool artwork here. Nice. Auto-tuning place. Lots of great storefronts all through here. Lots of like, interesting intersections. Because of the kind of angles of these streets here, you get these buildings sitting on unusual shaped lots. Here's the train coming through town there. New building going up. I don't see any trains, but I'm sure they come through periodically. Ah, oh, yeah, the coronavirus. I just can't, I can't stop saying it. Can't stop thinking about it. Can't stop reading about it. It's all so much. Nice Mercedes here. Hope everyone's staying safe. Some of the stories I've been reading are harrowing and tragic. Little cafe here. A crown at Vissen. Pizzeria, sandwiches. All kinds of good food around here. Promo tout. Hmm. Seda food, okay. 
Interesting spelling of sandwich. Sandwich. I wonder if that's... I'm not sure. Let's just keep cruising up here. I was reading about its history more. Back in the 18th century, it became a sort of a base for the Barbary pirates, which that is not, that's an, if you want to look up an interesting Wikipedia page, look up Barbary pirates. I suppose maybe I'd heard of them, but that, that is pretty, pretty fascinating. Definitely would encourage you to check that out. But yeah, some pirates operating out of here. Of course, it was more complicated than just like a bunch of pirates, but it's interesting. Like this little pattern they got going on in this apartment building here. Semicircles. Well, I have your attention. Uh, love if you would subscribe. That means a lot to me, of course. Give the video a thumbs up. Let me know where you want to visit next. I'll add it to my list. Hey, this is pretty fun here. More crazy circles. Um, and if you really want to support me, I have a Patreon page. It's a dollar a month. And I got bonus tours going up there. I have a few more planned coming up for sure. And yeah, that, that would mean a lot to me. That's a buck. Got at least four or five tours already if you join today. And visiting all kinds of random places around the world. Much like this, but with some extra content. There again, that spelling of sandwich. Okay, that's interesting. I, was, I wondered if that was like an error, but that no, it definitely is not an error. Interesting. Kebab. Mmm, yummy. Back to its history. I was reading, so back in 1881, Tunis signed an agreement to be a French protectorate, which I remember reading about when I visited Tunis on this series. And so they signed this agreement and the city here of Sifax was not on board with that at all. And they resisted. And then the French uh, were quite... <laughs> were quite insistent and they came and they attacked the city with six ironclad ships in the harbor I saw a picture on wikipedia of some of the ships that came and they attacked the city try to picture them here in this harbor and they just bombarded this whole place they really damaged the mosque actually it was really bad and and they subsequently took the city that was back in 1881 again. Um, let's go down here by this port area here. Huh. Society Tunisian Services Industrial. Okay. I sort of get that. And during World War II, the Axis powers then used the city as a major base in the region. And by that point, there was the, the port was really built up here. And then, oh, this is interesting down here. Lots of ships out there. All kinds of business industry going on here. Looks like, not sure what's happening there, but it's really busy right around this corner here. People getting dropped off in taxis. Very busy. This looks like a neat part of town over there. Again, some bigger buildings maybe. And uh, anyway, so the Axis powers had it and were using it. And then the British, I guess as part of one of their campaigns, took the city. And in the process, they again uh, bombed it somewhat, at least. And uh, again, that mosque tragically was hit again by two bombs. And they've done a lot to rebuild it, it sounds like. And clearly, it seems to be in all things considered, decent shape. So that's good. But pretty interesting. And then after the war, the, the city was returned to the French 
and then the city, the whole country gained independence back in 1956. So that was good. Of course. Here's their flag, clearly. Kind of reminds me of Turkey's flag. Well, that's just the first to come to mind, I guess. Nice park in here. Very patriotic. Nice place to come enjoy the, the evenings. Bunch of people out here on bicycles, scooters, that kind of thing. Cafes. Seems like a pretty good life here, right? Everyone seems to be doing all right. <laughs> from my from my brief inspection here on Google, but you know, I'm enjoying this. Great to little pop into the city. And they have a rug hanging out the window there. Looks like maybe they cleaned it or something. Bunch of scooters pulled up here. L'Avenue. Ah, oh, that's interesting. So you're gonna have some of that French leftover from being an a French territory. So you probably have some an extra amount of French restaurants and that kind of thing. French names. That's my guess, at least, putting that together. That kind of makes sense with what we saw earlier, too. Perhaps even that cafe. It's interesting how that happens. Great light coming through here. Oh, okay, we can take a left turn here. That's nice. Yeah, again, pretty well mapped. Not fully. Oh, that's kind of weird. <laughs> I thought that was a photo error there, but that's... No, those are just pants models. Okay. Sometimes you get that effect on Google where you see half a body, but that's actually... That's not an error. Interesting building here on the left. Looks like some sort of gathering place... Quite sure what that would be a stadium, small stadium, maybe. I'm, I'm not sure. And we're back at the somehow we've done the loop here. Okay, we are back to the old city walls here. Love the look of that. Fantastic, so great that those have been preserved. It's always tragic, um, to me at least. So many of these old cities you'll read about their ancient walls, and you know, they were torn down in. 1800s, the 1900s. So, it's really great seeing a city that still maintains that. Look at the road through here, the uh, the pathway. That's really neat. Looks like maybe it's closed to vehicle traffic. Mm, yeah, definitely. Hi, this is nice in there. You can't really take Google's vehicle up through there, but clearly there's lots of shops. You can you can bike through, you can walk through. Another mosque up there. And yep, patisserie. Okay, yeah, seeing lots of those French now. That's making a lot more sense to me. Okay. Interesting. Human rights square. All right, let's get right side up here. Okay, here again. There we go. I was reading that it had a lot of phosphate production, which if you ever see this in Google Maps, now and then you'll see these kind of squares like this, rectangles of kind of wild colors. Sometimes they'll be in the middle of a desert or... And I'll, I'll be honest, I don't, for the life of me, really know what's happening here. Some sort of, they're dealing with liquids being settled. <laughs> I don't know. But somehow the phosphate is produced or refined. Interesting, they're doing it, you know, right here, so close to the city. I guess no harm. But and a shame we can't see a better view of it. Can't really get too close to it. Let's go out on one of these random roads a little ways out of town, just just for change of scenery. Oh yeah, spreads right out here. Interesting. Huh, I don't know if that's a natural hill or... Not sure. I guess we're on a bridge here. Let's cruise back into town. No major high-rises right now in the city, it seems to me. 
again, that was a really neat that uh, the future park of that Teparura. That seemed like a neat place. I really hope that gets built. Um, not sure how recent those photos are, but the plans for it look pretty exciting. It's really going to change the city. I always fear these, outside of the, the human tragedy that is this, this uh, coronavirus, um, the, the impact on cities when there's an economic downturn is uh, it's just such a shame. As somebody who's a fan of seeing major construction projects, large-scale developments, um, I remember back in 2008, 2009, during the recession, there was just a lot of canceled projects, around the world even. Projects put on pause. Uh, there's a, one or two buildings in Dubai that are still unfinished. I know the, the Pentaminium Tower in Dubai still stands just... I don't know, 30, 40 stories tall, I think. And uh, completely unfinished for, it's gotta be 12 or 13 years now. It's real sad. So I, I fear for a city like this who has an awesome plan they're developing, how this all might affect that. But that's, you know, that's really not in a, the important issue right now as we're in the midst of this real human tragedy. What do you all miss most about everything? Or how, I guess I'm curious how everyone's been affected. Is everyone staying home? I pretty much am staying home. ABC, huh. All right. Pretty much staying home. You know, going for walks in the park maybe. Getting some groceries now and then, but that is about it. I'm not even a huge sports fan, but I tell you what, I miss sports. I was looking forward to baseball. Look at all these watermelons back here. Looks like you might just be selling them right out of the truck there. Oh, yes. Grab one of those. I'd definitely do that. Score a fresh watermelon. Mmm. Absolutely. Alright, maybe one more place, and we will call this a day. This has been... An a real joy. I know I haven't seen too much of it. If you live in Safax and I miss some of your favorite places, do let me know in the comments. I'll come back and check it out. Let's try by this Faculty of Medicine. I don't think we went down this portion before. Although well, it could be wrong. I don't think so. Some sort of campus there. I suppose all the buildings are white, of course, for the the temperature, you know, keeps things cooler. Still some people in darker vehicles here, though, but that might be, I don't know, the majority, I assume, here are all lighter vehicles, silver and white, that kind of thing. But it really, the buildings really are al almost universally, well, there you go, some version of white or off-white, cream. Car is definitely a mix, blue and red, gray. Here's maybe the taller, the tallest tower I've seen, perhaps. This looks like it's, yeah, maybe 10 stories, 12 stories tall. Interesting style. Kind of, kind of 80s. Something like that, that's fun. I think that, that looks like slightly dated to my eyes, but I think in short time, that is gonna be I don't know. That's gonna be. People are gonna think that's pretty cool in, in no time. I think it's gonna have like a fun vintage look. It already kind of does, doesn't it? I think that'll hold up well. That's my guess. It's it's weird in a fun way, you know. This is great. All right, this is a nice street here. Palais d'Esthetic. There must be a lot of French speakers here. Is Oh, maybe I should look. I should have looked that up. Is French the the main language? I suppose it would have been at one point. Must be a lot of French speakers, at least. 
I, I neglected to look that up. This is a nice street in here, isn't it? Great shopping. Look at that reflective glass, my goodness. New place going up here on the right. That looks really well made. Nice project there. Lots of banners all through here. Very festive feel. Very lively. Ah, very inviting. Well, it's been a real joy. I've, I've loved seeing this. Oh, yeah, I was I always have to comment on the artwork in the roundabouts. They always find the most interesting sculptures. <laughs> That's, you know, I've seen better, I've seen worse. It's an interesting one, though. Um, that's great though. And we are back at the city walls here. How great is that? Wonderful. All right. I'm gonna call it a day here. That was really neat. I'm gonna add to my map. Let's see your places. And I will try to be back soon here. I know it's been a few days since my last recording. I've just been, my whole routine's been thrown off I think by this event, right? It's just, it's hard to, it's hard to get back into the usual, but I will try to be back pretty soon. And there we are up here in the Mediterranean. All right, until next time.